DW, that's my homeboy, cuz uh, he didn't call nobody broke, so I understood what you were saying, but uh, you was under show to show contract, brother. I don't know what you talk about or what about nigga get a couple hundred dollars a show and all that. Everybody got their own contract, you know what I mean? If he got you with that Rick and Marole and you went for it, that's some shit that you got to take up with management, you okay? know what I mean? So you addressing the DW video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause For that's sure. the only part that I was like, wait, I don't know if he know. Like, yeah, I don't sell interviews. I don't got to. I get paid enough to where I don't got to. All right. See, Brick's logic with this whole DW flame scenario is the reason why I'm reacting to this video. First and foremost, I want you guys to realize Adam Twenty Two is not as rich as you guys think. There's a reason he does porn. There's a reason why. Lena and Adam 22's house is pretty much pink. Lena owns the house. You got Sharp interviewing that small adult actress with Brick the other day. Do you know how many sexual innuendos were in that episode? So half of the stuff that No Jumper puts on YouTube, I'm willing to bet it doesn't get monetized at all. Because if you put maybe one or two curse words... In a video, you guys know, all the content creators out there, you put a curse word in the video, you talk about the wrong things, and your video ain't going to make no bread. So I don't think Adam, I think maybe 60% of Adam's content is even monetized. Just to keep it 100. Honestly, that's just to keep it 100. Adam's not making that much money, guys. And let's circle back to what Brick said, that he's getting paid all this money. You are not getting paid all this money, Brick. Because you're a podcaster. You are muscle, sir. He is paying for your gang influence. That's what he's paying for. Dead homies pull up, nigga. On 6-0. Because ain't no 40s coming to the 60s pushing. No issues. Nigga, I'm rolling 60s, nigga. Ain't near 40 coming to the 60s, nigga. With no type of drama, nigga. On SC, nigga. Only 40 come through that motherfucker. It's Pee Wee and Lil Vernon, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Nigga, if you niggas got underlying conditions, nigga, hate the hood, nigga, on West Side Road say that, nigga, on the dead homies, because y'all know what Nothing it is, more? nigga. Nothing less, because we could go get anybody off of the street to pop a couple Zans and sit on camera. And... Because you know when you go to jail, that's what you call hooping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you hoop the... When you hoop the drugs, yeah, yeah. When you 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 put them up all the way up your ass, bro. You over whooping, bro. I couldn't believe. I'm that. just telling you, it's I, hooping. I couldn't. Big baby talks about snorting heroin, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they got a couple on there. They got it. I'm the, I'm one of the realest, really Like, what you gonna do? You gonna tell me I did heroin, and then what? Yeah. You gonna fuck me up? What you gonna do? But okay, I'll, I'll throw this out there: is that there's somebody that you don't like that I don't really like either. But you've talked about why you don't like him, and your explanation for why you don't like him, or, or part of why I shouldn't take him serious, you're like, he's a smoker, he's a junkie. Crack is different. You are muscle, and something that Adam can flex in the back end. Like if you want to come shoot up no jumper, then I got my goons that'll come in you know, wet your car up or wet whoever up. That's, you know what I mean? It's tit for tat. Adam has you there for muscle. Notice how Sharp ain't saying anything. Remember when Sharp and academics were going back and forth and Sharp actually had the audacity to say, I'll show you my W-2s. I'm getting a hundred K a year off podcasting. I wonder why Sharp is so quiet. I said, how about you come over to Jersey? I was going to give you an IV of clout. I was gonna make sure you yeah, go back over I there, get a raise. Yo, I was talking no, to my man Adam. Yo, I've been the gang. I've been talking to like mildew, nigga. Yo, I've been talking to your clown. This shit stink. I've been talking get to Adam already. You sound like a bad cologne you selling. I, I I hear it. These jokes don't even hit. But it's cool. Clout. Yo, hear what I'm trying to say. I've cologne. been talking to my man Adam. He said he was gonna give you a raise if we could show that you could prove a thing or two. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was gonna help you out, brother. Like, why you don't take the help? I don't need a raise. You don't need a raise. Thanks. Thanks. I don't need your help, bud. I don't need a raise. Thanks. Well, according to you, you don't get paid. That's what you Thanks. said. According Appreciate to you, you don't get paid. Appreciate right? you. I hope that summed that up for you. I don't need a raise. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I, I don't know, bro. I... And they keep all the raggedy people out your DM and you do numbers when you don't sell 
interviews when you do interviews with people that it makes sense for and that's how you take your numbers through the roof if you reaching out motherfucker want to pay you so to do anybody it want to sit down you get what i'm trying to tell you like yeah everybody got a story but the world don't really care about everybody's story see brick this is where i have to beg to differ um dw flame i didn't even know he was charging it was 2500 to five bands i would pay three thousand dollars to go on no jumper now i wouldn't want to interview with adam but to pay $3,000 to get on the platform to tell my story and not have to deal with Adam-22 and not have to face a pedo like Milk did and ruin his entire credibility, I would do that. I had no idea he was doing that. So, Brick, this is crazy because you are now gatekeeping the No Jumper platform. Do you understand me, sir? You are a gatekeeper now. You're, you're like the whole premise of No Jumper was to give the underground outlets, the underground artists a voice. You don't even realize that was the premise of No Jumper to begin with. All the artists wanted to go to No Jumper for that interview to get that exposure, to tell their story, to pop. Nobody in their right mind is going to No Jumper for that specific reason anymore. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today we're here with... XXX Tentacion. See, I'm making you say your own name because it's, I've been looking at it online for the past few months and I didn't really know how to say it. But uh, hey, man, it's nice to have you in the studio. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. And I guess you should, uh, well, we got No Jumper alumni Craig Zen over here on the left. Uh, maybe you should introduce your homie. All right, we got Craig Zen. We got Lil Weefy, Lil Budo Wifi. You feel me? We got Lil Budo. Gabe, Young Dirty Dick on the beat. You feel me? You got yeah. Skeet Mask, the slunk guy. We got Skeet Bruno Dick on Bruno Dicker down in the corner. You feel me? And then we got Adam <laughs> from No Jumper. Ah, Adam, when you watch my video, because I know you watch my videos, you can reminisce on this time frame that you had it like that, but you no longer have it like that. You want to be a Vlad and a Say Cheese. They're one-man operations. So, Brick, uh, that should tell you something, that no one is safe. Those are one-man operations, guys. No one's safe. We got Lush and Compa doing that little, you know, electricity fucking inside joke. They look like fucking clowns over here milking Adam's cock just like all these other porn, porn bops do. Adam's like, I get so much pussy, man. No, they, <laughs> you're basically paying for pussy, just like everybody else does on Fig. So it's kind of ironic that Brick thinks that he's got this solidified spot at No Jumper when Adam's not loyal to anyone, not even his bitch. The only thing he's loyal to is the Aryan Brotherhood and to the Masons and to his father and to the political party that he finances that keeps his YouTube channel afloat plug talk is making more money than no jumper that's a fact so we can logically deduce that lena the plug is richer than adam this is a money game some money play the no jumper platform is a far far cry from these days when you had xxx tentacion on your platform you're gonna have to do a completely new rebrand adam if you ever want it to come back to this and i'm willing to bet that adam 22's content is probably 60 percent monetized he just doesn't want to tell y'all there's not that much overhead to run a podcast there's not that much i mean the the spot and where his location is at and the reason he got it there is the biggest expenditure he should have got it you know what i'm saying there's no reason to have that clothing store there's no reason why you need such an extravagant building you could downsize and save money in that regard but i do believe that dijon is going to wax adam's pockets and he's getting ready to take a take a good little su substantial hit probably 50 to 60k i would be willing to bet if he can prove that he was grazed with a bullet or maybe a bullet hit the ground and then grazed him grazed him he doesn't necessarily even have to prove that he was shot he just has to prove negligence from his security guard and he can get 30 to 40 K for sure. The reason, the way you go about this is you, you basically blackmail Adam. It's, it's called a non disparagement agreement. So you go in there and you say, okay, I'm not going to disparage the company. I'm not going to actually tell exactly what happened, but you're going to chip me off a bag. 
I've won a lawsuit just like this against Seasons 52. It was only for $9,000, but I didn't use a lawyer at all. I went in and got Seasons 52 for nine bands. So that's exactly what he's going to do. Dijon's going to do. He's probably going to go in and he's going to negotiate a rate. And that's probably going to be twenty to 30000 maybe. And he probably is going to get that rate. Adam fucked up by even having that exchange, that text message exchange, saying that even anything happened. He should have just kept his mouth shut. He implied guilt with that text message. So that's where he's, you know, he could have played it a little bit cooler than that. But like I said, there's a reason why Adam and Lena's house is pink. It's because she's the breadwinner. Like an actual all- little person, are they going to have certain complications or just like you said this boy brick is zonked you can tell usually and this is alleged this is all an act this whole video is a joke none of it is serious but you could tell when someone is off substances when there's literally no facial expression no movement it's just a stoic figure it's a statue he's just like staring through her like what am i even looking at right now and this guy's touting the fact that he's a top tier podcaster stop it man you bang hard in the city and that's why you're on payroll cuddy oh i see nigga it's i see you and everything about us is blue collar we get it out the mud stay tuned